G'day folks, I'm Broadcast Cal, and today we're gonna talk midterms. Not exams, but elections. Did you know that election day in the United States is coming up in November? Now, it's not a presidential election, but it's still a really important one, called the midterm elections. We're voting for one third of the US Senate and all 435 seats of the House of Representatives. In case you didn't know, the Senate and the House of Representatives are the two chambers that make up Congress. These elections are really important because whichever party controls the House or the Senate controls what laws, bills, and changes can happen for our country. It's kind of a big deal. Now, the reason they call it midterms is because a midterm election happens right in the middle of a president's four-year term. We're voting for those who will work with the president. Let's first start with the Senate, which contains 100 members. Senators are elected to six-year terms. Every two years, one-third of the Senate's members are up for election. Election. For the House of Representatives, when they're elected, they serve two-year terms. And all 435 spots are up for grabs every two-year election. This means the House of Representatives are always on the ballot during every presidential election and midterm election. In addition to Congress seats, there's several state governor races that are also being voted on during midterms. Now, you may ask, since it's not a presidential election, how important is the midterm election? Well, they're more important than you think. The midterm elections play a key factor in determining a president's political power for the rest of his term. Because in midterm elections, if the winning political party is different from the president's political party, then laws and bills may have a hard time getting passed. That's because our government is designed to have checks and balances, which prevents one party from having too much power and allows our elected members of Congress to have a fair voice when elected. For example, if the president in power is from the same political party that has a majority of seats in Congress, that can make passing bills and laws easier for that president and their party. However, a split Congress, or if a Congress's party is different from the president's, that can make it much more difficult for the president to achieve their vision. And that right there is Politics 101 for you. I'm Broadcast Cal, and I want to remind all you registered American voters out there to do your part during this midterm election. Exercise your rights. Get out there and vote. And support that cool little sticker they give you. Broadcast Cal, out.